What is your prediction for the year 2027? We're probably looking at AGI as predicted by prediction markets and tops of the labs. So we'd have artificial general intelligence by 2027. And how would that make the world different to how it is now? So if you have this concept of a drop-in employee, you have free labor, physical and cognitive, trillions of dollars of it. It makes no sense to hire humans for most jobs. If I can just get, you know, a $20 subscription or a free model to do what an employee does, first, anything on a computer will be automated. And next, I think humanoid robots are maybe five years behind. So in five years, all the physical labor can also be automated. So we're looking at a world where we have levels of unemployment we've never seen before. I'm not talking about 10% unemployment, which is scary, but 99%. All you have left is jobs where, for whatever reason, you prefer another human would do it for you. But anything else can be fully automated. It doesn't mean it will be automated in practice. A lot of times technology exists, but it's not deployed. Video phones were invented in the 70s. Nobody had them until iPhones came around. So we may have a lot more time with jobs and with world which looks like this. Mm -hmm. But capability to replace most humans and most occupations will come very quickly. Hmm. Okay, so let's try and drill down into that and, and stress test it. So a podcaster like me, would you need a podcaster like me? So let's look at what you do. You yeah. prepare, yeah. you ask questions, mm -hmm. you ask follow-up questions, and you look good on camera. Thank you so much. Let's see what we can do. Large language model today can easily read everything I wrote yeah. and have very solid understanding. Better. I assume you haven't read every single one of my books. No. Yeah. That thing would do it. It can train on every podcast you ever did, so it knows exactly your style, the types of questions you ask. It can also find correspondence between what worked really well, like this type of question really increased views, this type of topic was very promising, so you can optimize, I think, better than you can because yeah. you don't have a data set. Of course, visual simulation is trivial at this point. So can, you can make a video within seconds of me sat here. And so we can generate videos of you interviewing anyone on any topic very efficiently, and you just have to get likeness, approval, whatever. Are there many jobs that you think would remain in a world of AGI? If you're saying AGI is potentially going to be here, whether it's deployed or not by 2027, what kind, and, and then, okay, so let's take out of this any physical labor jobs for a second. Are there any jobs that you think a human would be able to do better in a world of AGI still? So that's the question I often ask people in the world with AGI, and I think almost immediately we'll get super intelligence as a side effect. So the question really is, in a world of super intelligence, which is defined as better than all humans in all domains, what can you contribute? And so you know better than anyone what it's like to be you. You know what ice cream tastes to you. Can you get paid for that knowledge? Is someone interested in that? Maybe not, not a big market. There are jobs where you want a human. Maybe you're rich and you want a human accountant for whatever historic reasons. Old people like traditional ways of doing things. Warren Buffett would not switch to AI. He would use his human accountant. But it's a tiny subset of a market. Today we have products which are man-made in US as opposed to mass-produced in China. And some people pay more to have those. But it's a small subset. It's a, almost a fetish. There is no practical reason for it. And I think anything you can do on a computer could be automated using that technology. You must hear a lot of rebuttals to when, this when you say it, because people experience a huge amount of mental discomfort when they hear that their job, their career, the thing they got a degree in, the thing they invested mm -hmm. $100,000 into is going to be taken away from them. So their natural reaction some, for some people is that cognitive dissonance that, no, you're wrong. AI can't be creative. It's not this. It's not that. It'll never be interested in my job. I'll be fine because. You hear these arguments all the time, right? It's really funny. I ask people and I ask people in different occupations. I'll ask my Uber driver 
are you worried about self-driving cars? And they go, no, no one can do what I do. I know the streets of New York. I can navigate like no AI. I'm safe. And it's true for any job. Professors are saying this to me. Oh, nobody can lecture like I do. Like this is so special. But you understand it's ridiculous. We already have self-driving cars replacing drivers. That is not even a question if it's possible. It's like how soon before you fired? Yeah, I mean, I've just been in LA yesterday and uh, my car drives itself. So I get in the car, I set a put in where I want to go and then I don't touch the steering wheel or the brake pedals. And it takes me from A to B, even if it's an hour long drive without any intervention at all. I actually end, still park it. But other than that, I'm not I'm not driving the car at all. I mean, obviously in LA, we also have Waymo now, which means you order it on your phone and it shows up with no driver in it and takes you to where you want to go. Oh, yeah. So it's quite clear to see how that is potentially a matter of time. For those people, because we do have some of those people listening to this conversation right now, that their occupation is driving, to offer them a... And I think driving is the biggest occupation in the world, if I'm correct. I'm pretty sure it is the biggest occupation in the world. one of the top ones, yeah. What would you say to those people? What what should they be doing with their lives? should Should they be retraining in something or... What time frame? So that's the paradigm shift here. Before we always said this job is going to be automated, retrained to do this other job. But if I'm telling you that all jobs will be automated, then there is no plan B. You cannot retrain. Look at computer science. Two years ago, we told people, learn to code. (laughs) You are an artist, you cannot make money, learn to code. Then we realized, oh, AI kind of knows how to code and getting better. Become a prompt engineer. You can engineer prompts for AIs. It's going to be a great job. Get a four-year degree in it. But then we're like, AI is way better at designing prompts for other AIs than any human. So that's gone. So I can't really tell you right now the hardest thing is design AI agents for practical applications. I guarantee you in a year or two, it's going to be gone just as well. So I don't think there is a... This occupation needs to learn to do this instead. I think it's more like we as a humanity, then we all lose our jobs. What do we do? What do we do financially? Who's paying for us? And what do we do in terms of meaning? What do I do with my extra 60, 80 hours a week? You've thought around this corner, haven't you? A little bit. What is around that corner in your view? So the economic part seems easy. If you create a lot of free labor, you have a lot of free wealth, abundance, things which are right now not very affordable become dirt cheap. And so you can provide for everyone basic needs. Some people say you can provide beyond basic needs. You can provide very good existence for everyone. The hard problem is what do you do with all that free time? For a lot of people, their jobs are what gives them meaning in their life. So they would be kind of lost. We see it with people who uh, retire or do early retirement. And for so many people who hate their jobs, they'll be very happy not working. But now you have people who are chilling all day. What happens to society? How does that impact crime rate, pregnancy rate, all sorts of issues? Nobody thinks about governments don't have programs prepared to deal with 99% unemployment. 